Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, my name is Jesse. I'm the worship pastor at Calvary, and I will be sharing your word for the day. Today we are in Psalm 95, and it speaks of how God is worthy of our humble worship and our obedient worship. So let's read. 95 says, O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. The first thing the psalmist mentions is honoring God with song and doing so in community. Did you notice that it says, let us sing to the Lord? Singing is not only the way to give honor and worship to God, but it's one of the essential ways that we can worship Him. It is important for us to gather and to sing to the Lord in community with God's people. Next, we see the psalmist talk about making a joyful noise. Our worship should express a heart of thanksgiving to our God, who has done so much for us. Let us shout joyfully to Him with songs and praise. When we are praising God, He is in our presence and we are in His presence. It is a connection between God and His people in worship. Let's continue to read. Uh, Again, it says, For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In His hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are His also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. This is why we worship God, for he is the creator of all things. We can see his great creations all around us, including the stars and space. We should desire a sense of awe when we come into his presence and deeply regard Yahweh as the great God and the king above all. Let's continue to read uh, in 6. It says, O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker, for He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture and the sheep of His hand. God is our Creator who loves us and desires a relationship with us. He's the only one who can fulfill and sustain that space in our soul that never stops longing for our Creator. It is good for us to come together and worship God. The psalmist says, bow down when we come to worship. We should have a humble heart before the Lord, praising Him for who He is and thanking Him for all He has done for us. It is so important to gather together in community as believers. The next time you gather in community with other believers to worship God, remember to come with an open, humble heart, listening, praising, and thanking Him with joy for all He has done. Remembering His Spirit is present with us. Praise and thank Him every day with your life. And let us worship our Creator, our Maker, who is also our Redeemer and our Savior. Thank you for listening, and may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Have a blessed day.